Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you all quickly um, this template that I made. Um, if you've seen my previous posts on social media or my blog post, um, I decided to basically start 100 Days of Code. I had previously uh, started it, but I never completed it because of yeah because of COVID. I actually got sick with COVID and ended up in the hospital, so I completely stopped. But yeah, I'm committing this time again on January 1st um, to hopefully finish 100 Days of Code. So this is the template that I created. This is in um, on Notion, and you can find the free link in my bio, or you can find it also in this description. Um, and you can duplicate this to your own Notion, and you can customize it. Um, pretty much do whatever you want with it and I really hope that it's helpful on your journey if you decide to also join me on 100 days of code or if you're already doing it so as you can see here this is just um, kind of like a quick snippet of who I am and why I made the template and then here um, you can find this is the study plan and if you click on this it will actually take you to my free study planner template that you can use while you're studying. Um, yeah. And let's go back. And then here you have a table. So here you can add each of your 100 days. So here are the numbers. So it would be from 1 to 100. These are the days. And if you open this up, it will take you to a separate page. So the idea behind this is that each day um, that you complete, you would write in here what you studied or what you coded. Um, so just to keep track of what you're doing. Also, if you want to share on social media, then you can write this out here and then show, share to social media. And then you can add the date. So maybe you you, you already started this previously or you plan on starting it in a few weeks or a few months then you can completely change the date you just click here and change the date and then here you can choose like how many hours you studied or you coded so here I have one hour two hours three hours four hours or five hours but you can put I don't know 30 minutes so you can completely customize this to however you want. You can go here and edit, delete it, change the color. And then here is to um, track your thoughts or your feelings, depending on how you're feeling that specific day. So I have added excited, stressed, overwhelmed, or happy. Of course, again, you can customize this to add what you would like. And then here I added external files. The reason I added this is because let's say you want to add a link to a GitHub. So for example, if you completed a project and you wanted to add that link, you can add that link here or... Uh, maybe something on CodePen or anything else, you know, just so you can reference that. So this is the table um, and this is where you would be adding your 100 days. And then, of course, if you click on this plus button, you can add more to the table depending on what you want to keep track of. And then here I have goals and plans. So here you can write out your own goal, goals, whatever you, you know, whatever you want to have for these 100 days or your plans. And then here I have completed 100 days of code on. And then here you can write the date. And yeah, that's the template. Um, when you come to the, I'm going to share it. And then when you come to the template, um, and actually you can't see it on mine, but normally when you um click on the link it will take you to the actual page which will look like this and then when you click on these three little dots then it would say duplicate and then once you duplicate it it will add it to your personal nav bar and then you can completely customize it you can delete this you can change anything and everything you would like um, so yeah, that's my template and I really, really hope that this is helpful. I hope this helps you all in the 100 Days of Code Challenge. If you do decide to do it um, and if you do decide to use my template, please um, tag me or use the hashtag BMCodes and so I can see your post, so I can see your journey. I would really love to keep up with your journey and anyone else doing the challenge. So yeah, I hope this is helpful and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.